when you come to realize that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, he is alive and well and real, that he in fact was resurrected, he conquered death and the grave. All power has been given to him in heaven and on earth. By believing in him, we become more than conquerors over this life's ills and challenges and trials. Let's take a look at what Paul writes to the Corinthians in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 through 18. So we do not lose heart. Though our outer nature is wasting away, our inner nature is being renewed every day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, because we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Paul is basically saying that sometimes we could become fearful and discouraged as a result of just living. Though we're aging and we're feeling the pangs of age, what happens is our spirit is continually being renewed as a result of the Word of God in our lives. The challenges that we face just in everyday life are not even to be considered in the weight of the glory that will one day be exposed to us when we see God face to face in his heavenly kingdom. We need to be conscious and train ourselves not to look at the circumstances around us, but rather to embrace the promises of God in his holy word for us to be able to cope with the things that we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Because the things of this life will soon pass away. If you could see it, taste it, touch it, feel it, it is going to be gone. But if you can't see it, it is eternal. That's why the invisible words that we speak are, carry great weight, not only in this life, but also in the life to come. We will be judged by them. We will live by them. They create the reality that we live in at this very moment. Jesus is the source of our hope. There are so many promises that are in the scriptures for us in order to have hope in desperate situations. God says he will never leave you nor forsake you. He inspired the psalmist to write these words in Psalm 91, a psalm that fills us with security and trust in the Lord. One who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will lodge in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. For it is he who rescues you from the net of the trapper and from the deadly plague. He will cover you with his pinions and under his wings you will take refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a wall. You will not be afraid of the terror by night or the arrow that flies by day or the plague that stalks in darkness or the destruction that devastates at noon. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not approach you. You will only look on with your eyes and see the retaliation against the wicked. For you have made the Lord my refuge, the most high your dwelling place. No evil will happen to you, nor any plague come near your home. For he will give his angels orders concerning you to protect you in all your ways. On their hands they will lift you up, so that you don't strike your foot against a stone. You will walk upon the lion and the cobra. You will trample the young lion and the serpent. Because he has loved me, I will save him. I will set him securely on high, because he has known my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. I will satisfy him with a long life and show him my salvation. Now let's look at the last three verses of this scripture. Because he has loved me, I will save him. I will set him securely on high because he has known my name. 
knowing and loving Jesus Christ for what he has done for you, and also declaring Jesus Christ as being the Son of God, are invisible actions from the heart and in the mind. It says, because he has known my name. It's so critical because the name of Jesus Christ right now is anathema to most liberals and globalists. By declaring Jesus Christ's name and calling upon him, he will answer you. Christ will be with you in trouble. He will rescue and honor you. This is the only other place in the Bible beside the commandments, the fifth commandment, where it says, Honor your father and mother so that your days may be long. Here in verse 16 of Psalm 91, I will satisfy him with a long life and show him my salvation. Jesus makes promises he can and will keep. For the assurance of salvation, repeat Romans 10 verse 9 with me. I declare with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, and I believe in my heart that God raised him from the dead. And according to Romans 10 verse 9, I am saved. Remember, every Wednesday, a new video comes out on this channel declaring the love of God through his son, Jesus Christ, for you and the rest of the world. Share this with everyone. God bless you.